Hi, I'm Pastor Emily Carson. Thanks for sharing time together today. What do you want more of in 2021? What do you want less of in 2021? That was the theme of an article I recently found in the New York Times. It was in the January 3rd edition in the at home section and readers were invited to reflect over the past year and look forward and to think about what they wanted more of and less of in 2021. This could be a neat exercise for you and your colleagues, or perhaps you and your fellow council members. I thought it would be interesting to do this exercise on a personal level, to really think about what I wanted more of and what I wanted less of in the year ahead. In my pondering, I felt a nudge to dig into scripture, specifically all of the post-resurrection words and actions of Jesus. Each of the Gospels focuses on unique elements of what Jesus said and did after he rose from the dead, and I find those post-resurrection stories about Jesus to be particularly compelling. When I think about what I want more of and less of in the year ahead, both personally and professionally, I want it to be informed by Jesus' guidance, and I imagine that you do too. These are the kind of things that Jesus said after he rose from the dead. Peace be with you, receive the Holy Spirit, forgive sins, feed sheep, tend sheep, follow me, do not be afraid, go, make disciples, remember that I'm with you. And these are just a few of the things that Jesus did after he rose from the dead. He went on lengthy walks with strangers, he ate breakfast with friends, he opened people's minds to scripture, he perpetually offered a word of peace. So with that in mind, Jesus' own words and guidance to his followers, here's what I want more of in 2021. More Holy Spirit, more forgiveness, both giving and receiving, more encouraging of disciples, more shared meals, more prayer, more listening, and more opportunities to remind and be reminded that God is here. And with Jesus' words and actions in mind, here's what I want less of in 2021. There's really just one thing on my list. Less fear. So I'm curious, what might appear on your more list and less list for the year ahead? Please do some pondering and perhaps share in the comments below. Thanks.